In this activity, we need to calculate the slope of the spinning curve, the marginal propensity to consume, and lastly, the multiplier. Where do we start? Well, you should know by now that we start with what is given. We know that autonomous C equals 10, and at equilibrium, consumption spending equals 70, and investment spending equals 20. Investment is autonomous, so we can indicate it as autonomous. What else do we know? At equilibrium, A is equal to Y. Agex spending, autonomous, um, consumption spending plus investment spending, that is 70 plus 20, is equal to income. In other words, at equilibrium, total spending equals 90. Now, we need to use the information given to calculate the slope. Now, a slope comes from a diagram. And the easiest way to calculate the slope is to actually draw a diagram. First step, we start with the axis. The axis showing a relationship between spending and income. We have the 45 degree line showing all the points where spending is equal to income. Autonomous spending. What is that? Autonomous C plus autonomous I. So autonomous spending equals 30. And from this point, as income increase, spending also increases. Now we need to calculate the slope of this diagram of this curve. Autonomous spending equals 30 and we know the value of equilibrium being 90. So if we can find a triangle underneath this spending curve, we will be able to calculate the slope of the curve. If we go from 30 and draw a line parallel to the y-axis, we can see this distance equals 90. From this point to this point is, well, we know from year to year equals 90. It must be because this point represents equilibrium. So if this distance equals 30, then we need to add another 60 to get to this point. So if we look at this triangle, the vertical axis equals 60 and the horizontal axis equals 90. Now we're in a position to calculate the slope. The slope being the vertical change, which is 60, over the horizontal change of 90, that's 60 over 90, or if we simplify, 2 over 3. This then is the slope of the spending curve. Secondly, we need to calculate the mass of propensity to consume. But we know the mass of propensity to consume is equal to the slope. So, this is easy. Mass of propensity to consume equals the slope, and the slope equals 2 over 3, therefore the mass of propensity to consume is also 2 over 3. Having calculated the mass of propensity to consume, we are now in a position to calculate the multiplier. We are working with a closed economy without a government. So, the formula that we need to use, 1 over 1 minus C, and we are going to substitute the value of C into the formula. So, it is 1 over 1 minus 2 over 3, and that will give us, yes, 1 minus 2 thirds is a third, and therefore the multiplier equals 3.